Hi, welcome to Stamping by Chris. Here's a project we're going to make today. Do you recognize this paper? You might not recognize the paper, but I bet you recognize the stamp set. We're going to be using basic butterfly basics and timeless textures to create your own paper. I cut this piece of vanilla cardstock eight by five and a quarter so that we can cut it right in half and that's going to go right on a card base. And the inks that we're going to use today are going to be crumb cake, early espresso, and pink pirouette. So let's open up crumb cake and get our fern from Butterfly Basics and stamp a few ferns. You can do some stamping off do some different heights. Stamping off is when you don't re-ink. Alright, I'm going to leave those like that and grab the honeycomb. That's also from Butterfly Basics. I'm going to go right across the top. So when you're creating your own paper, you can definitely use whatever you like and for me, I'm just going to try to create a really vintage look, real soft. This is from Timeless Textures. Come along the side. Again, you'll notice that sometimes I'm just stamping off, so I'm not re-inking. It's going to give a nice finished edge, so I'm going to do that all the way around. side too. All right. <clears throat> then there's this wood grain that's also from Timeless Textures. Going back in with my crumb cake and I need a little wood grain. Not too much. I'm going to open up my Billy Espresso and get that butterfly you have to have butterfly in there when you're using that basic butterflies. So those two I inked, but now I was stamping off with those last few. I'm going to do the same thing with this. This is the New York stamp and it says 1921. What were you doing in 1921? Stamp that off. Makes it look like a postcard, doesn't it? Alright, then there are some little dots in Timeless Texture. Make sure you turn in that stamp so it's going in all directions. So I stamped once, but I've stamped off about five times. So anywhere you need a little bit of eye-catching pizzazz, there you go. All right, and then for the finale, we're going to use the Lily. I'm going to use the Early Espresso again. It gets pretty dark with this flower, so I'm going to stamp it off on my pad here. And just like I did with the ferns, I'm going to try to create a couple different heights and angles. Stamp that off. One more. There we go. And with my crumb cake, I'm going to use a sponge. Ink that up a little bit. Just come in in a few spots and... Darken it up, give it that worn time look. Maybe a little espresso in some of the places. All right. Then you're going to want to use your 
Faber, and mine seems to have rolled away on me. Let me get a dabber. Here it is. All right. Of course, it's on the floor. I think a kitty cat was in my work area. And I'm just adding a little bit of color, a little bit of an accent. Now, don't worry if you go outside of the lines. It's like I tell my first graders, it's okay. Especially with this look. One of the other ideas I was thinking about is coming in with the wild wasabi and just accenting the leaves instead of the flowers. So you can play around with different colors for the flowers or for the leaves themselves. See which look you like. And let me know. All right. So now we're ready to attach this to our card base. Again, we're gonna cut that right in half. And that's what that looks like. And I have some pink pirouette here and a ribbon. I'm just going to tie a double knot around here. And so I didn't plan where the flowers were going to go or the butterflies. I just randomly put them on there. And it would give each card a unique look. I chose not to do any kind of salutation on these. I am creating a pack and I'm going to give that as a gift so then the cards can be used for any occasion. There we go. And nice name. I'll attach that to the card. And there we have it. So you can see, here are just two of the cards that I've made. Same concept all the way across. Two different looks, very similar. Gonna add it into a pack. If you'd like to purchase any of these items that you saw used here today, go ahead and go to my site. That's www.chriskris.stampinup.net. Thanks for stopping by.